Hi, my name is Rick Ulfick. I'm the founder of We the World and the We campaign at we.net, W-E.net. I started going to some meetings uh, of nonprofits, and they all said, um, we're doing great work, but why are we uh, so fragmented? Why are we not working with others who are doing great work? It gave me this idea to start an organization that, that brings groups together. And so I did. Uh, we the world. So uh, fast forward to 2003 and I went to this amazing conference called Planet Work, which is actually Plan Network. So uh, all the biggest networks on the planet were at this conference, like Craig of Craigslist was there and everybody was there. And here's where the synchronicity thing came in. Someone who organized the, the conference happened to pick up that piece of literature uh, that I had left. Uh, and this is way after I had left and gone back to New York. It, it had taken place in San Francisco. So um, he got in touch with me, and his name was Troy, Troy Lush. And uh, because he happened to see my little flyer there, he and I collaborated to create something that is now called 11 Days of Global Unity. And it started in 2004, and it has become a convergence of people working for peace, sustainability, and transformation. Uh, Desmond Tutu helped to launch it along with uh, uh, Jane Goodall and Deepak Chopra and Barbara Marks Hubbard and Robert Thurman and Marianne Williamson and a long list and it's been growing every year. Why did we choose 11 and why did we choose 11 Days of Global Unity? We've been very involved with something called the International Day of Peace. The International Day of Peace started in 1981 as a resolution uh, that was passed by the United Nations that the opening day of the General Assembly session in September would be a day of ceasefires or trying to get ceasefires in conflict areas around the world. And they call that day the International Day of Peace. There was a big push to put the, that date on one specific date and they wanted to put it on September 21st. And in fact, a guy named Jeremy Gilly did a whole feature-length documentary with Angelina Jolie and a whole cast of, of uh, celebrities called Peace One Day. And it was this big push to get the UN to put this on September 21st. And they were very slow to move on this. They liked the idea, but you know, the bureaucratic wheels, you know. So unfortunately, in 2001, the second Tuesday of September, was the opening day of the General Assembly. And guess what? It was also September 11th when the planes went into the buildings, uh, the, the towers and the Pentagon. They, they passed a, a resolution uh, putting, putting the International Day of Peace on September 21st, but it didn't take effect until uh, 2002. So we took a look at that and we said, here we have the tragedy of 9-11 on September 11th, and we have the International Day of Peace where people are working for ceasefires and global peace on September 21st. That span is 11 days. So we created 11 days of global unity as a symbol from the, the journey, the journey from fear to hope. And now, it's become all of these uh, amazing things that, you know, there are groups all around the world that take part in this. Uh, and uh, one other interesting thing, and maybe you can call this synchronicity, um, in 2006, we discovered from Arun Gandhi, the, the grandson of Mahatma Gandhi, that September 11th in 1906 was the day when uh, Mahatma Gandhi did his first peace walk, his first nonviolent peace march, 1906, to try to end apartheid in, in South Africa. 
So, a hundred years later, we worked with a sculptor and we created this Heart of Humanity Sculpture Award and we presented it to Arun Gandhi as part of 11 Days of Global Unity to celebrate that family working a hundred years for nonviolence. And guess what he did? He said there are actually 11 practices of Satyagraha that Gandhi had and he lined them up with the 11 Days of Global Unity so in 2006. And now we have 11 themes of global unity, you know. We have unity, interdependence, uh, uh, environment, economic justice, health, children and youth, women, uh, we have uh, human rights, freedom, uh, disarmament, um, and peace. There you go.